Michael's passion for swing music came from his grandfather, Mitch, who we met in Vancouver at a Buble family dinner. A plumber and music lover, he introduced Michael to the greats, and they spent years listening to them together. He would say, Sunshine, you know, before I die, I just want you to, to if you could just learn these, these three songs, you know, Begin the Begin, or I'll Never Smile Again, or... And so I would learn them, and um, he did this countless times, hundreds and hundreds of times. I mean, he's my, probably easily my best friend, yeah. He would call you Sunshine? That's, he still calls me Sunshine. Michael's grandfather used every trick of the trade to get Sunshine's career on its way. He took me to every audition. He took me to every singing lesson. He would get me in by promising to give free plumbing to any club owner who would let me in. And he'd say, listen, I know he's 16, but you let him up on stage, I'm going to go and I'm going to fix your hot water here. It's busted. And then he'd wait all night, and I'd get up, and I'd have my chance to sing with the band, and he'd sit there beaming at me. How old were you when you, you know, first started doing that kind of gig? 16, just turning 17. So 20 years ago. 20 years ago, yeah. <laughs> and it went by, it went by like this. It, uh, it was a long road. The first, uh, till I was about 26, was, a, was quite a struggle. Do you have sung in shopping malls? Many times. Birthday parties? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yep, birthday parties, singing telegrams. I sang uh, Christmas songs in the malls. My grandpa would drink about eight cups of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy. And uh, we'd sit there for five hours. Yeah, I did everything that you could do. Did you have any limits? Was there anything you wouldn't do? I didn't like singing at weddings. But you did it. I did it, yeah. I and did. actually, as it turns out... As it turns out, it's the one thing I did where everyone in the world goes like, Oh, you're the wedding singer that made it.